okay? Oh, um, here is what we are going to need for our virtual boot camp today. Um, so a set of weights and um, a chair, if you've got one today nearby, um, we're going to be doing some variations of planks and such with a chair. You can, of course, do them on the ground if that is what you want to do. It's just going to be a little bit more challenging. So um, have a chair or like a step or something nearby if you want to do some of the alternatives. All right, guys. So in addition to that, we're going to need weights. If you have like heavy and light, fantastic. Um, if you've only got one set, that is a okay too. So we're going to do a stack workout today, which means we're going to start. We have four exercises per circuit. We're going to do exercise A for 30 seconds and then rest. Then we're going to go A straight into B, each one 30 seconds, then 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to go A, B, C, 30 seconds rest, A, B, C, D, 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to start to take them off. So then we'll go, we'll take off exercise A, so we'll do B, C, D, then we'll do C and D, and then just D. Got it? All right, so let's get warmed up. Um, again, unmute yourself if you have a question. Um, volume good? Yeah, thumbs up, awesome. So let's get warmed up, shall we? Just give me a nice, easy little alternating knee. Belly button draws in nice and strong. Keep going, guys. All right, so we're warming it up. Little tiny change coming up. Can we do that little jackknife? Touch your abs are in nice and strong. Engaging through that core. Nice and easy. We've got four more here. Last two, last two. Awesome, so shake yourself out. I love that we're indoors because we have something to hold on to. So you can grab your chair or use your wall for balance and stability. Let's open up that psoas. So just some little leg swings here, core is engaged. You're just gonna let that leg go forward and back, start to open up into that hip. So always a good idea to open up your psoas a little bit before you start working out because it will help you um, fire your glutes a little more effectively. So let's take this diagonal. If you're close to the wall, though, just make sure you're not going to kick your wall because that's never fun, right? Awesome. Shake yourself out. Other side. So I like to turn around so I'm using my outside leg. You don't necessarily have to know where your, um, where your wall is. And taking this on the diagonal. Awesome, so shake yourself out from here. Just a little alternate toe tap. So I am gonna let you guys know, I mean, I feel like you guys know this anyway, but um, I am tapering for Boston right now. So that means like nothing high impact or high intensity for me. So I am gonna coach you guys through a lot of this today, but that doesn't mean you can't work hard, right? And reach overhead. And if you hopped on um, after I let everyone know what we're gonna need today, weights and an optional chair. 
if you want to adjust some of the exercises. And shake yourself out. So from here, feet are hip width apart. Core engages. We're going to sit back into that squat. Squeeze and lift. Tailbone comes back. Spine is long. Knees are trapped over that second and third toe. Perfect. Sit back. Squeeze and lift. Last four, three, two, and one. So from here, we're gonna work a little bit more hip mobility and a little bit into our legs. You're gonna take your right leg, drop back into a lunge. We're gonna circle that knee up and over, step out to the side, reach down, circle in, come down. So let's try that again. We lunge, circle out, lateral lunge, circle in. So some of you guys saw this one yesterday. Sorry for the repeat. It's one of my favorites though. My runner friends, this one's a good way to start to open up your hips. Part of a good dynamic warm up for a run. Can we do two more? We drop it down, we circle, we reach, we circle, drop it down, circle, reach, circle. So, of course, now we gotta do the other side. Drop it down, circle your hip, tailbone goes back, spine stays long, circle back in. Drop down, front knee stays right over that ankle. We got it. Looks good, my friends. Drop down, circle lift, side, circle in. Two more here. Let's go ahead and do one more just for the sake of fun today. Whew. Awesome, nice work guys. Step that right foot back, drop your heel down, reach up, pull back, reach up, pull back. So we've got some plank fun coming up today. Again, that's what you might want the chair for. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can do those exercises on the ground. You just have to really pay attention to your form and you'll see what I'm talking about once we get started. And pull, so we're working that other leg. But because we are gonna be doing a lot of plank, we're gonna take a quick spin to also warm up our wrists. Give me two more here. Awesome, step that back foot forward. Just come into a march, hold hands with yourself. Start to roll your wrists. So pay attention to the direction you're going with those wrist circles. Now we're gonna go the other way. So just a little wrist warm up, just to help out with our planks. And then shake out your hands like you just washed your hands and there's uh, no paper towels. Take them up. down, shake them out, awesome. So keep moving, here's what we're doing. So if you missed this part too, stack workout today. So we add on, then we take off 30 seconds for each exercise. When we start adding on, we're gonna go 30 seconds of A right into 30 seconds of B right into 30 seconds of C. Got it? But after we add on our exercise, we'll have 30 seconds recovery before we come back to the top. So with your weight, exercise number one, I'm gonna give you options for this, okay? So if you're into squat, Today, you're gonna squat, knee lift, squat, knee lift. Now, if you're thinking, Stephanie, I'm taking care of a knee, I don't wanna do squats, whatever, core engages. We're just gonna take squat and knee lift with that overhead press. Just make sure we're not arching the back. Second exercise. This is where our chair comes in handy. So, and you can do these on the floor if you prefer. 
But if you want to be on the chair and make sure it's a sturdy chair and it's not going to slide, we can be low impact and do a slow mountain climber, or we can run our mountain climber. What I don't want to see though is this. You're going to stay in that plank just elevated. Now, of course, you can do that on the floor if you prefer. Then you're going to quick, quick grab your weights. We're going to hinge, row, stand up, bicep curl. Then our last exercise. We're here. Low impact. You're going to walk a little V shape. If you want the jump, you're going up and back. But what I don't want to see is this, like up. Get up there, go back. So that's our fourth exercise. Again, you can do those on the floor. Those are hard on the floor, just to warn you guys. Make sure you're jumping all the way up or you can walk them. Who's ready? I'm ready. So we've got that squat with the knee and the overhead press. On your mark. Get set, go. Starting so we your squat, workout. knee, Exercise. or we're just here with that knee lift. Now remember, we're pulling those abs in crazy strong. So what we're not gonna do is go forward and back, right? We're gonna connect it to that core, lengthen through your spine. And again, I want you to use a weight load that is challenging you. So again, I'm gonna take my squat out today. Rest. All right, so you get 30 seconds recovery. Next time around, we're gonna do that squat knee lift and then we're gonna get our chair mountain climbers in. Belly is gonna pull in super duper strong for that. So I want you to keep moving. So in 10 seconds, we go again. Here we go. We've got our weight. You can do this with two weights. If you have lighter weights, just hold them together. And so here we go. Connect into that core as you drive your knee up. Now, if you're not comfortable adding that knee, maybe you just wanna do the overhead press. Maybe you're not using a weight load. Entirely up to you. Come on, big press, we got this. So we are getting ready to transition into those mountain climbers. So set that down right on into it, in, in. So again, you can stay low impact here. We're spurring our core. Squeeze, squeeze. Again, just make sure you're not um, on something that's gonna slide with that chair and make sure you have a sturdy chair today. If you've got a step, you can use that too. Exercise. All right, catch your breath. Shake yourself out. We are going back to the top. So that squat knee with our overhead press. Then we're going to add in, this time, the row to the bicep curl after our mountain climbers. So breathe and breathe, right? We got it. Just keep your feet moving. And remember, you can have a drink whenever you need it. Five seconds, we go. Core is in. Press, press. Here we go. Press, press, press. Nice and strong. Come on, come on. We are here for 15 more seconds. Remember, core control. So that navel draws up and in, but we're not gonna pull it in so much that we can't breathe, right? We're just gonna think gentle engagement. Exercise. Now, we put that weight down, come back to our plank mountain climbers. Now remember, you can run these, or you can be on the floor, and even if you're on the floor here, you can still do on the floor a little slower. But again, what I don't wanna see is butt up here. I want you to find that plank so your shoulders are over the crease line of your wrist. We got it. So in five seconds, we're quickly picking up our weights. Row to bicep yes. curl. So we hinge, row, stand up, bicep curl. Hinge, row, up, and bicep curl. Got this. 
Nice and strong. Looking good, my friends. Those of you that I can see. It's okay if you don't want to have your camera on. I totally understand. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exercise. Awesome. So catch your breath. You're going to set one of those weights down because we are going back to the top. So this is the last time we're going to do that squat knee with the overhead press, right? That's the first one we're going to take off when we start to decrease. So catch your breath. We go again in about five seconds. We're going to add that plank V jump thing. All right. Yes. So again, you can squat if you want to make this just a little bit more challenging or you're here. So if you are squatting, your weight is going to be evenly distributed through the four corners of each foot. And then you're going to drive up through that standing leg. So it's almost like you're giving yourself a single leg squat as you come back up. So much fun, I know. We transition, two seconds, so set that weight down. Exercise. Mountain climbers. Now, if you don't want to use the chair or the floor, you can do a standing mountain climber. Maybe that's where you're happy. Maybe that's where you need to hang out today. Either way, you're still gonna work hard. So I want you to challenge yourself here. Don't just phone this one in today. We're gonna really work it hard. We got this. Grab your weights. Rest. Row to bicep curl. So we hinge, we row, up and curl. Hinge, nice flat back. I want you to concentrate on what's working here. Spine lengthening. You're gonna really activate those back muscles. Then we bicep curl. Hinge, pull, straighten, up, contract. Now, exercise. Plank V jumps. So we're here. So low impact is where I'm gonna hang out today is gonna look like that. But if you want to jump it up, I do want you to see if you can't get all the way up there. So it's not a teeny, teeny jump. I want you to challenge yourself here. So not only are we getting our heart rate up, are we really working into our core as well? Yes. So march it out, catch your breath. We're going back to the top, but we're taking out that exercise A. So we're gonna go back to our chair mountain climbers, and it's gonna be the last time we're doing chair mountain climbers. I'm pretty happy about that, right? So just keep it moving. This is your active recovery, so do what you need to do here. Five seconds, so find your chair or your plank on the floor. Abs are in, shoulders are right over those wrists. Pull in with your belly. So you'll notice that as I'm doing this, and I'm doing the low version, my spine's not in. Core is super duper strong, so we want to make sure we're not wiggling all over the place. Wrap those abs in and around. I see you guys. You're looking good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on, we got this. Row to curl. Grab your weights. Hip hinge. Squeeze up and up. Yes, 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 yes. Contract right up there at the top. Focus in on those arm muscles. We got this. Last 10 seconds. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Chair jump over V things. I'm sure these have a name. I just don't know what it is. So I'm going to call them plank Vs. Now, if you need to, maybe you just need to go side to side today. You can do that as well as long as you're in your plank. Now, if being in just doesn't work for you at all, you're just going to make a V on the floor. Sound good? Yes. So catch your breath. Now we're going to start with that row curl. So we're taking off those mountain climbers. So grab your weights. Are we ready? 
We get to go again in 15 seconds. So again, this is your active recovery. Keep moving. Grab some water if you need it. Do what you need to do. We go in five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Exercise. Squeeze, come on. Super strong. Now, I want you to use the heaviest weight that you can that's A, available to you, and B, you can do this with good form. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself here. Squeeze, squeeze. Last five seconds. Nice. All right, plank V jumps. Let's go. You're back in your plank. Or maybe for this one, you're like, you know what, Stephanie? I just don't even want to jump my plank. Maybe you just want to hold a plank. That's okay. You can do that with your hands on the floor or on the chair. Entirely up to you. We're gonna do what feels good for us here, but you are only doing it for five, four, three, two, Exercise. one and done. You have 30 seconds of chair overs. That little V chair plank thing. 30 seconds of that, then we are done with this circuit and we're moving on to circuit number two. Sorry, that one also does have some more planks in it, but hey, we love planks. They're good for us, right? So ready, set, go. I know she said rest, but yeah, don't listen to her. That's just the way I've got the timer set up. How we doing, how we doing? All right, in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Exercise. you're done with that. Catch your breath. Woo! Workout so, pause. Catch your breath. Workout reset. Circuit two, so grab some water, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Whatever you need to do here, just keep moving. Exercise one, we're back in plank. So again, you can do this on the floor. Your low impact option is going to be to tap out to the side, or you can plank jack these. Now, if the plank is really bothering you, you can also do jumping jacks. Exercise number two, shoulders down, abs in. We're gonna do a straight leg hip hinge. But when I say straight leg, you do have a little bit of a softness in that knee. Exercise number three, fast feet. Quick, 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 quick. Now, if you don't want to run them, you don't have to. Fourth exercise on the floor or on the chair. They're gonna be about shoulder width apart. You're gonna find your plank. We're gonna do a rolling plank here. Now, if you prefer to do that on the floor, you can choose to be on your hands and roll your plank here, or you can do it or forearms and roll your plank that way. So those are our four. Huh? Who's ready for plank jacks? I'm ready for plank, I'm ready to watch you guys do plank jacks. It's gonna be great. On your mark. Get set. Plank jacks. Starting your Let's go. Workout. Exercise. Plank jacks, plank jacks. So again, if you don't want to be in plank, but you want to be here or here, you can do that. But I want you to focus on challenging yourself today. So I don't want you to do the jack variation if you're like, oh, well, that's easier. I want you to challenge yourself but be appropriate in that challenge. So march it out, catch your breath. We're gonna add on that hip hinge to our plank jacks. So we do wanna push ourselves in these, um, in these work intervals, but I don't want you to feel like you're dying. It should be challenging, but doable. So can take a little breather within that interval if you need to. So plank jacks are coming back for you. Here we are. So again, maybe you want to be in that low impact 
act variation. I'm still working really hard here. A lot of core, a lot of upper body, and my heart rate is still elevated. So just because something is low impact doesn't necessarily mean that it's low intensity. Rest. All right, grab your weights right on into that hip hinge. Tailbone goes back, spine is long. Can we activate the upper back? Rolling your shoulder blades down the spine. Belly button pulls in, 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 in. Navel draws in to help protect that back. Exercise. All right, so you have 30 seconds of recovery. Then we go back to plank jacks, hip hinges, and we're going to add on those fast feet. Now you can take up however much room you want to with your fast feet. You can move them forward back, you can go out and in, you can go forward back moving laterally. However you're happy and want to do your fast feet today is good. I just want you to get that heart rate up. So we're coming back to plank jacks on the floor or on the chair. Here we go. So I kind of dig the chair variation for some of these because it's a little different. Because we have a lot of dynamic movement happening with our legs here, sometimes when we're on the floor in plank, that spinal alignment goes because we're doing so much with our lower body and so much movement. So sometimes having the chair really lets us keep that core on Exercise. it. All right, grab your weight, hip hinge. So remember, we can use that chair if it works for us, but I don't want you to think oh, I'm not gonna do the chair modification because that makes it less of an exercise. It just makes it a little bit of a different of an exercise. In some cases, it actually is a little bit more challenging. So, just something to think about. All right, fast yes. feet. So again, we can keep it quick, but always keep a foot on the floor. So right now, I'm still doing my fast feet. I'm just keeping it low impact. Now you'll notice I'm in a little bit of a squat. That's gonna make your low impact variation a little bit more challenging than if you're up here. But again, you're going to do what works for you today. You guys are so awesome, I love it. Exercise. All right, merch it out. Plank jacks, hip hinges, fast feet, then we're gonna add on that rolling plank variation. All right, so again, you can do that rolling plank either on the chair or on the floor. Just know that on the floor is gonna be a little bit more challenging, but if you've been doing planks for a long time, go ahead and do that one on the floor. It's really fun. So, find your plank for plank jacks. Nice. Or maybe you wanna do regular jacks today. Up to you. But if you're doing plank jacks, can you keep your torso still and your shoulders right over the crease line of those wrists? Yes, 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 yes. We are so strong right here. Come on, we got this. Exercise. All right, hip hinges. So remember, we're hinging from that hip elbow goes back. So we want to make sure we're not tucking and rounding when we do this one. But I also want you to think about that activation through your upper back because sometimes we can get the hip hinge, but our shoulders go because we're holding weights and gravity is a thing, right? Activate your upper back, roll your shoulders down the spine, pull your belly in, 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 in. Fast feet coming at that, out and in. Come on. How quick can you go? Challenge yourself here. So strong, so strong, so strong. I love it, I love it, I love it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Rolling planks are next. I see you guys working hard today. Love it, love Exercise. it, love it, love it. All right, rolling plank. 
So we roll back to center. So for rolling planks on the chair, I actually do like to put my hand in the middle of the chair instead of holding on onto the, the chair because that just feels really unstable for me and I'm a klutz. So do what works the best for you today. So march it out, yes. catch your breath. We are getting rid of the plank jacks. So we're gonna start this go around with our hip hinges. If you have heavier weights and you want to challenge yourself, do it. I dare you. It's gonna be awesome. We got this. So 10 seconds coming at you with our hip hinges. So find your positioning. Or maybe you wanna do no weight. You can take your hands behind your head, activate them for back. When we hinge, squeeze and come up. So you'll notice that as I'm hip hinging here, I'm not going crazy far. So it's like a little hip hinge. You do not need to get those hands all the way down to the floor. What I need you to do is go as far as you can with that nice long neutral spine. So really be strong with that back. Fast feet are coming up. Who's ready right now? Out and in. Out and in. So again, if you want to go forward and back instead, and maybe move laterally, or maybe you want to do your fast feet forward, and then fast feet, it's like, play with it, have some fun. This is like the freestyle part of your workout, right? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Last 10 seconds here, then we are going to go back to our rolling plank. Now, I do have a standing option for you for rolling planks. So if you want, you're gonna be here, and then you're gonna to come to here. It's a little balance exercise, but it is going to pull into those deep core muscles. But I want you to think about keeping that spine long. So if planks are not for you, you can totally do that. Adjust, it's all good. Right, yes. march it out, catch your breath. So now we're gonna do our fast feet, our rolling plank. We're just gonna do our 30 seconds of rolling plank. Then we're gonna hit the ground for some core. Yay. So catch your breath, still moving here. We're gonna go again with those fast feet in 10 seconds. Are we ready? Set. Exercise. Let's go out and in, out and in, out and in. And it's nice we're virtual, you guys don't have to hear the air horn. Isn't that great? Because let me tell you, air horn through virtual speakers is not awesome. So we get digital sparkle instead, much gentler. But it still tells us when we need to switch, right? And that is in five seconds. Rest. All right, roll your plank. So again, maybe you're here, and then you're gonna come here. This one is kind of fun. It also brings in a little bit more glute. It looks super silly as you do it, though. I'm like watching that one on the screen. It looks crazy, but yes, it will work those obliques. So if you're taking care of a shoulder or something, that's gonna be a good option for you. All right. Active Exercise. recovery. So keep it moving. Can we get, give me a thumbs up if you're sweating a little bit? Yes. Awesome, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Rolling plank. Are we ready? Find your plank position. Let's go. So again, here, or on the floor, or on your forearms, or standing. I love having choices with these exercises. It's awesome. All righty. Last 10 seconds, then we're gonna turn off our timer. All right, in three, two, one. Exercise. Awesome. Catch your breath. Workout pause. So, 
grab some water. You can slide your chair off to the side if you're limited on space. Just give yourself a little march here. Shake it out. So we are going to come down to our mats for a little bit of concentrated core work. I'm going to show you how to do this um, with an optional weight. Um, the key word in that sentence, though, is optional. So you don't necessarily need to use a weight for this one. And you can also do this one seated in your chair, like with a knee lift without the weight, if that is more appropriate for you. So coming on down. We're going to start. And if you have a little Pilates ball, like within arm's reach, and you want to tuck it back behind your tailbone, you can do that too. So we're going to start with no weight. Sit up super duper tall, lengthen your spine, roll your shoulders down the back. And you're going to lean yourself back. So I want you to find that positioning. You should feel your abs kicking in. And then we're just going to bring ourselves back up. So imagine you've got little helium balloons attached to your collarbones that are going to float you up towards the ceiling. So this is engaged like you would believe. And notice I'm not rounding. Straight, long, engaged core. We come back. We come up. Can we do that one more time? I want you to get the feel for this. And come on up. So grab your weight. If you want to use it, you can totally do this without a weight. Belly pulls in. We're going to lean back. So find your core engagement. Lift your right heel. Lower it down. Lift your left heel. Again, you can do this seated in a chair and just lift and lower. So you're probably thinking, Stephanie, why do we have a weight? Ooh, under. 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 And under. Belly button pulls in. We got this. If this does not feel good for your back, you don't have to do the V sit. You can do this seated in a chair. You can also do um, lying on your back with your legs up, like the leg portion of dead bugs. Under. Under. Can we do four? Three. Two and one. So gently make your way down onto your back. Hug your knees in towards your chest. So just give yourself a little release here. Spine is nice and long. Legs are gonna come up. So you may decide that you wanna do this with no weight and have your hands cradle your head and you're gonna be here. Or you might decide that you want to use a weight and hold it here. Or you might decide that you want to use a weight and hold it here. We're going to squeeze through the deep core, come back down. So I'm squeezing through my deep core, pulling my low belly in, 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 so that I can float my shoulders up. So it's not a pull and a crunch. It's more of a scoop in the lift. So if this bothers your head and neck, you can also do a weight with one hand and then one hand supporting your head. We just want to make sure that we are keeping about a fist distance between our chin and chest and let your jaw relax. Last eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Really set your head down. You can turn your head gently side to side. Can we do one last thing for our core? Then we're going to stretch and call it a day. I think we got it. Yeah. So legs are going to come up. You can totally bend your knees if you need. You can also do this with no weight. But if you want to use your weight, you're going to take it up. Roll your shoulder blades down the back. 
Keep those key connections of your spine along the floor. So your tailbone is down, back of your rib cage is down, shoulder blades are underneath the body. And we're just going to start by lowering that right leg about halfway. Find your catch plan. Then we're going to come back up. Then we're going to go the other way and come back up. So super duper strong into the core. We're really pulling in so we don't arch that back. Now, if you'd like the alternative, we can add the arms only about halfway. Because once we get a little more than halfway, that's where we start to pop that rib cage and arch the back. So this is one of those instances where bigger range of motion is not necessarily better. I want you to keep that core engagement. Reach, reach, reach. Pull back up, we got it. Reach, reach, reach. Pull back up, can we do four more? Last four. Three. Two. And that's your last one. Gently set your weight down, hug your knees in towards your chest. You can rock yourself around just a little bit. Nice and easy here. And then we'll just go the other way. Little circles. And now come back to center. You can either roll over onto one side, use your hands to come to seated, or you can give yourself a couple little rocks forward back till you get enough momentum to come up to seated. So whatever works for you on that one. Some of us like the little back massage. Let's give ourselves a little twist here. So I am seriously hoping that Mother Nature is a little nicer to us next week and we can see each other in person. Um, I am planning to do another um, go round of boot camp. I'm going to have that open for you guys probably in the next couple days if you are interested. And please bring your friends because, you know, the more the merrier. We, got a, we had a couple spots open for this one. So if you know of anyone who might be interested, please send them my way. And go ahead. Come on back up. Roll your shoulders. Interlace your hands behind you. Open your chest. Little bicep stretch as well. Nice and easy here. And go ahead and release, interlace your hands in front of you, scoop your belly, separate that space between your shoulder blades. Back to center. Give yourself one more big inhale. Up. Reach, reach, reach. Last little stretch. Exhale. Wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Pat on the back for being awesome. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Hopefully there will be no rain and it will be a beautiful day. I will send you guys um, the recording for this. Point to the recording for this. So you will be able to go back and have some more fun with this if you want to. All right. I will see you guys later.